Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 2 of the tutorial series. Today we're doing inventory in terminals, and uh, let's get started on that. Once again, the series is small, uh, but that's the entertaining part about it, and I hope you enjoy it. So you've been accepted in a f to a faction. Woo! Ooh, look at that. Big arrows and everything. So wow, this looks like a cool one. New jetpack though. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we have here. Uh, pick up some rockets below looking at them and press T. You can see them in your inventory by pressing I, right? So I guess rockets, uh, oh no. Inventory. There you go. I was going to say, our inventory should be full. Approach the square uh, conveyor on the rear in this missile block. You will see a little yellow square. Um, wait, is it blinking or is that? Oh, that's just me going up and down. I was like, wow, it blinks now. Your personal inventory is on the left screen. Okay, so it's telling you about your personal inventory, which is the left here, and the rocket launcher here on the right. Cool. And then, oh. And then, uh, when you have uh, loaded the rocket launcher, press 2 to fire, blast a hole in the stone wall so you can walk through it. So there you go. Cool. Oh, can you have, like, invulnerable, uh, blocks I guess for the uh, that's cool it didn't like no damage over here I guess you could have like sort of invulnerable blocks for the tutorial series for scenarios I guess this is a scenario I think in the end but uh, if necessary you can recharge your suit energy by using the seat Ooh, it's been a exhausting day let's let's charge up thank you so much for that uh, ooh, wow there's a whole bunch of stuff here which one is which four five and six why is it okay uh, try not to walk on the components. They could get kicked away. There should be 15 uh, steel plates, 4 steel pl uh, tubes, 10 construction components, 4 motors, and 2 computers. Pick them up below and load them into the cargo container nearby. There you go. And the lights will turn off when you have picked up all the items. Oh no, the items have gone by. Approach closely and press K. Your personal inventory is on the left. Okay, so it explains the same thing again. So we're just going to shift click and I'll just get them there. Actually, you can double click them too. Uh, shift click does what? Hundreds and control click does 10, I think. Something like that. Uh, when you have loaded the components into the cargo container, press them and turn the welder on. Oh, so it's going to weld for us. What is it welding? Well, let's find out. Uh, activate the piston. Okay, so toggle. I hear it. Oh, there it is. Oh, so it's building a piston. Okay. Now we're going to turn the piston on. Haha, <laughs> this is cool. And then we can walk across. So there you go. You got a thing on pistons. And we fall down. I wonder what happens if we fall. You just keep flying down. I almost feel like I need to ruin it just to try it out. Uh, you need components in your inventory to be able to place blocks. To place light armor, require steel plates. Withdraw the steel plates from the cargo container. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then... Uh, here we go. Oh, so it wants us to just basically... Uh, well, tell us here, but you can see. Uh, you need components in your inventory. Place armor blocks. So... You can just put these here, and then boom, 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 and then boom. Actually, why can't you boom that one? Maybe it wants us to jump for our death here? Does this say it wants us to weld, by the way? Uh, toolbar at the bottom, yeah. I guess it's just placing them, okay. Whee! And then, woo, we need some more energy. Wait a minute. Oh, this probably wants us to turn the power on. The panel below will display an excellent and the power is turned on. Okay, this is a reactor. You blah, blah, it's connected. Okay. So where does it tell us? Oh, control panels can be found. Do, do, do. Access the control. I want to know where it tells you to actually do the power. Access the control panel located in the small locator, lo, uh, reactor. Click the button labeled on. Oh, okay. Wait, where is the small control panel? Oh, it wants us to use one of these for once. There we go. Derp, derp. 
Uh, now that the power is on, access the control panel, locate the group uh, rotors bridge, press the button labeled reverse and exit in the control panel. Okay, facts the groups are a way to apply blah blah blah. Okay, so they're talking about groups which you can apply multiple things for example. So we go here and we reverse and there we go. Dun, 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 dun. But they never said you couldn't do this now, could you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've seriously screwed ourselves. That's why we got these guys. Uh so normally you'd walk across there, but I played with the settings, which, hey, you're an engineer. You're supposed to do stupid stuff. And that's what I decided to do today. How many of these do I have? 41. Okay, we're good. Oh, crap. We're not good at all. We screwed ourselves because... We can't get up. Actually, we're lucky. We can use one of these slopes. Ooh, we got lucky, so you gotta use your... There you go. Woo! So, there you go. That is really fun, what you can do with rotors. Uh, I guess we've lost them now. Who knows where they're gone. Was that them right there? <laughs> I think that's them. Of course, I had to break the tutorial. And there we go. We've completed the objective. So now we could always go and jump down here. We always wanted to know what happens if you jump down. So in the tutorial, I don't know if they have boundary boxes or anything like that. No, it just looks like you just keep going. No gravity. You keep your momentum. That's the part of space engineers. Since you don't have a jetpack, you can't do anything about it. So we just we glide to our death. But there's no death because we can't hit anything. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this tutorial series. Please subscribe, comment, like, and we will see wonderful people next time.